yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to you again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy J.I. As y'all can see, we got on the same merch We in the same Manny built shop Got my boy Manny right here Already going to work, man As y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail We will be installing my E85 Flex Fuel Kit From Wild Hammer Motorsports If you guys are interested in getting anything from Wild Hammer Use promo code JIWILD at checkout to save yourself some money um, But yeah, man, today we will be installing the E85 flex fuel kit if you guys haven't been in tune with all of the videos we just installed the long tube headers and the MSD spark plug wires so if you guys haven't already make sure you go check out that video if you don't know who this is it's my boy Manny Manny built man you dig what I'm saying his IG pops up on the screen right now my boy is dissecting that uh that 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 that, that trash wiring you feel me and he's gonna clean that up and make it actually run right and then We'll get to going ahead and, you know, pinning it and all of that stuff. And uh, won't be running E85 tonight because no tune, but we'll at least have it on the car ready for the tune. So, yeah. The reason why I do this is because what they offer you mm -hmm. is pretty whack. You know, it's good. Like, yeah. It does the job. It protects your wiring. Yeah. But this is the old school way. You know, like this is, they buy this in bulk and, yeah. you know, they... They buy it for super super low mm -hmm. and they just half ass put it in there so i like to offer a little bit more of my little touch the many built way yeah and take all this off yeah we don't that's car gosh i clean it up i touch it with my you know snake skin okay. almost like this right here as you can see real oh, okay, professional okay okay, okay, okay real yeah. clean yeah and it, it it goes in flow with the car yeah hell so yeah. I mean, why not? Facts. It only takes, what, 15, 20 minutes? So. Yeah, the, you know, the time that those yeah. big companies not taking. You know what I yeah. mean? They just trying to make it anything it, to make it production. Works, but I, I want to do it cleaner. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we like, man. We like queen, clean, quality work. My goof ass almost said queen, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? We like clean, quality work. And that's exactly why we came to my boy Manny. Because y'all know, like we know, I could definitely do this myself. But my boy Manny is the GOAT at this shit, and I need y'all to know that. Because I know that, but y'all don't know that yet. So, we finna tee up my boy Manny. Here's what that. we're using. Sheesh. That big quality mook, you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't, I feel like it, it doesn't, it's not much. It's not much compared to this, you know. You're paying probably 4 or $5 more. Yeah. But, you know, when it comes to, like, multi-million dollar companies, they want to just Get go the easy and route and exactly. save money. So... Exactly. We're gonna we gonna take care of it though. Yeah, yeah. My boy Manny getting that joint right, man, getting everything rewired, everything cleaned up, and then as soon as he gets that process done, I'll show y'all the end result and then we'll go ahead and get started installing it on the car. I'm gonna show you guys what pin y'all are supposed to be connecting the E85 kit to and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it's not that many in-depth videos on how to do this. So, you know what I'm saying? J.I. Squad, I got y'all. Y'all know I got y'all, man. Hit that thumbs up button right now if you like how the engine bay looking so far, man. Sheesh. The next day. Yo, what's good, y'all, man? As y'all can see, it's a whole new day, man. Got my boy Manny. We back at the shop, man. As y'all can see, man, we are about to do the E85 Flex Fuel Kit install. My boy Manny got that joint all cleaned up, as y'all can see. Put his own little flavor on there with the wiring and whatnot, because the other stuff they had was trash, garbage. So today we finna go ahead and get to the installation part. Now, my brother, you want to take over as far as yeah. like walking them through? Pretty much this one here is gonna connect to the sensor that they offer. Um, after that, uh, usually these vehicles will supply uh, one for the cold pack, but the one that Wildhammer has yeah. connects to the sensor here. Then after that, we're gonna run this pin right here to the computer. Mm -hmm. So this car technically already has an E85 sensor pin. So all we're gonna do is pin it, 
and then activate it through the tune and it'll be able to read the 85. Yeah. So it should be a clean, clean process, very, very fast, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yes, sir. So, like my boy Manny say, man, we finna go ahead and get straight into it, man. You guys want to make sure you get like a tower or something, you know what I'm saying, to clog around the area because when you disconnect the fuel line, it's definitely going to, you know, leak a little bit of that 93, that stanky 93, you feel me? But use the tool that they provide while Hammer provides it in the kit. He's using a simple process. You just stick it there like that. You push the line in. And then this will like kind of despring the line because there's some spring me mechanisms in there. And as you can see, it has pressure. So inside of there, you got this little spring, like tension things. So this comes in and just detents that. Yeah, yeah. One side disconnected. Engine bay just. <laughs> So much better, bro. Oh my god. Oh, man. I was not expecting you to get that one. Just like that, the old one, I mean, the old line is disconnected. And you know, the Ohio provides a new line, the sensor, the harness, everything you need. <clears throat> they do that? Oh my god. It's owned by that one kid. Damn. Alright y'all, so, so we just got the line connected and ran. Um, ran it behind the CA engine cover. So shout out to goddamn little Tommy who had the Holly High ran before I had the car and cut out that little notch. The line fits right through. Now we're gonna finna go ahead and connect all of the uh the harnesses and get the sensors and everything pinned so my boy manny you know what i'm saying so far so smooth man not bad not bad we're gonna modify a little bit more so it'll be later on in the okay, in the okay. car in the car sound oh my god you on the go yeah i'll tell you that much yeah yeah because i mean let's connect the line the sensor the sensor right now running the wire for it, the harness. See, this is exactly why I needed the C8 engine cover because look at how ugly that is. That's just trash. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, Chevy knew what they was doing. They knew that was gonna be ugly as hell. So that's why they went crazy with the engine cover. I mean, what engine cover do you know looks this good? They don't offer any engine cover that looks that good. Just straight up facts. Oh, oh, are we good? The moment of truth. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Like that. Yeah, we can turn that bitch right there. Uh -huh. hey. What they usually do is just run it to one of these right here. Oh, okay. okay. So, any oh, other cool. boats, anything that's metal. We just touch. Yeah, I think that's even better though because mm -hmm. there is a little bit of plastic back there. We might have a faulty uh, ground using that one. Right, either. Yeah, that's all mm -hmm. we do. So now we just run the pin. Okay. Pin that. Pin this and it should be, should be it. I believe. We got to disconnect the battery. We'll check the PDF. Yeah, we're going to have to disconnect the battery. Yeah. And uh, check the PDF for it. And uh, usually most, if not all, the, the computers are the same, yeah. the location is the thing that's different. Yeah. So, we'll figure out, we'll figure out the number. Alright, oh my God. And then, and then, I'm just waiting on the tune, man. It's just 
Time to get that tune. We gotta tap in with bro, bro, man. We gotta see what's up. What, what time of the time of the week can get this joint in, man? So I can take off. And we can get that video for them. Yeah. I like to uh, move this out the way because oh, the connector <clears throat> is right here. Yeah, right so underneath it. It's not. You're not really messing with anything electrical when you remove it out the way. Yeah. So you shouldn't be worried about it going crazy or throwing some type of light because you're moving fuse box or anything. Yeah. There's nothing to be worried about. Just... Oh, and then also, you know what I'm saying, we did disconnect the battery. Yeah. Uh, we did that off camera. Just letting y'all know, don't get in the comments going crazy. How you let Manny work on your car? He doesn't even disconnect the battery. What the hell's wrong with you? Like, oh, I'm unsubscribing. Ah, thumbs down. Look at my headers, bitch. <laughs> Look at them. Them joints are changing colors already. Look at them. It looks so damn good. Oh my god. Manny, what the hell? Look at me. Clean as hell, man. So. Yeah, that, that shit there is a pain. Oh my god. So it's gonna to be this one right up. here. Pick the clip up. Press this thing down. Like that. Disconnect. It usually, whenever you pick it up, it usually that's how it works. Um, it's a built-in type of a thing that just automatically pushes it up. Yeah. So it shouldn't be that hard to push up. So let me go get the tools for this. That's kind of so we did figure it out. Uh, like I said, and Wild Hammer actually provides you a full instruction manual on how to do it. It's a whole PDF. It goes from step one to step final you dig what i'm saying there's pictures everything um and so it does say that the pin is going to be pin 38 so we're about to go ahead insert that pin unfortunately we're not getting the car tuned today we're just getting the car ready for the tune hopefully we can get the car tuned next week um next weekend get the car tuned and then you know what i'm saying on the 29th we're going to the drag strip chasing that high 10 second low 11 second pass full interior car just full bolts on and mickey thompson's you know what i'm saying so Hopefully we can do it, bro. I think Vader can do it. 10-speed car, 2021, healthy motor, and tasteful mods, man. Tasteful mods. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna right, take so. this off here. So all you gotta do is like get some type of pick, and there's like a little entrance right here. Yeah. You kind of pry on on the plastic and then up, and then you play around side to side to where it can come out. I'm gonna try to get the sides also. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's fast parts. So this right here, you can't you can't put it wrong. The reason why is because it has a big hefty one compared to the rest of them on one side. And you can also see it here. So then we come here. And this one's already labeled 53, so you know where, where number 50, 53 is at, it's pinned right here. So then 33 is on top. All right, so you go back, you use this as a, as a platform, and you know, 53 is right here. And usually it helps. So, so 53 is right here, then 33 is right at the top of it. So you start counting upwards, because it starts moving upwards. So 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, and then 38 is gonna be right here. So the way I do it is I get something skinny enough so I can push through and it's gonna come out here. But before we do that, we just gotta remove this in the back and expose the wires back here. Many unbearable hours later. So as y'all heard about the SpongeBob announcer, many unbearable hours later, my boy Manny then finagled a C, this is a C-clamp, huh? Yeah. My boy finagled a C-clamp like a damn, like a paper clip. And now we straight. Look at it, Manny. Yeah, yeah, all That's right. That's why you gotta come see my boy, man. I'm trying so to tell now, you. We're gonna take this one off. The back side. Okay. Sometimes you fight too. Just like everything in this car. And it just comes out like that. Okay. All the wires are exposed. Yeah. So now I cut, I cut this. It's gonna have like a little uh, zip tie. I cut that hole so you can move it around. You can stretch the wires up a little bit. Yeah. And 
as you can see, this motherfucker is a brand new. You know, 2021. Shit. And right now we're about to find out if he had a 85 or not. 85 in there. Yeah, yeah, this so, is the moment of truth right here. Buddy had high ram, buddy had headers, cooks to be exact. But did he have E85? He did not. He didn't? No, because let me show you what. These little plastic tabs yeah. are in the back of uh, any pen that's unpinned. Yeah. So, right now I'm putting pressure on it and it's not coming out. So that means that it didn't buddy have E85. It's still on 93. Yeah. And that means he didn't get a chance to go 85. So that means my motor is probably not goofed. Bet. <laughs> so when you actually pop it out, you're going to know that it popped out because it pops. Legit. Like, pops. So my boy just got that pin popped out. Gonna go ahead, insert the E85 pin. Then all we have to do is ground that wire, put the engine cover back on. Put the ground back onto the battery and we are good, ready for tuning. So now you just push everything out like that. And now you just follow the whatever tool you put. If you can take it out the whole way, as you can see it is right there. So I would I would do is just push it in and push this one out. So I always make sure that this you see the little marks right there at the top. Are facing the same way in your pen. The pen is now installed. Now we're just zip tying and cleaning it up before reinstalling it into the car's ECU. And then, like I said, grinding the other two wires and we're good to go. I said it already, but this is going to be ready for the tune. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, everything is put back together. You can't even tell that this joint has an E85 kit unless you look like real hard and you can see the sensor kind of poking out. I got to get the uh, DSX quick connect so that we can clean up that excess uh, fuel line and stuff like that. And then we won't have all that extra uh, line running in behind the motor. Give a shout out to my boy Manny again, man. Go ahead, tell him where to tap in with you at again. Yeah, bro. man. My Instagram is Manny.built. M A N N Y.built. It's a uh, pops up on the screen, man. Make sure you guys tap in. As y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, ho the shop is full. You hear me? The full house. And we got Vader here. And y'all know, y'all know, I do not let nobody work on my car, bro. Like, I literally do all the work. All of my cars, y'all know this. So for the fact that I'm here and I got my boy working on the car instead of me working on the car, that should already let y'all know this dude knows what he's doing. Hey, you dig what I'm saying? Check out the color. Yeah, them shits is going crazy, bro, <laughs> yeah. already. Them shits already changed color, man. We installed the headers yesterday, literally. And I just drove the car home and they already big rainbow titanium up, man. But with all that being said, y'all, that's actually going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Man, he read that bitch one time for him, man. But one time for him, just in case they didn't see the other video. You feel me? Just one time before we close it out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So if you haven't subscribed already, man, go ahead and subscribe right now and turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Let's go ahead and roll that outro.